in this kingdom we reign by light it takes more than desire it is our understanding our comprehending the ways of god this is where the victory of the believer is the bible says in ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 he says having their understanding darkened has been alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them so it matters that you not only know god but that you understand his ways praise the lord please listen when it has to do with the pursuit of god our knowledge of his person and our conformity in experience into his image and his likeness there is no end we will continue that system of transition through eternity but when it has to do with your victory in this kingdom the systems of God and the principles that make for your victory are finite they can be learned they can be known they are not infinite it is the pursuit of God the pursuit of his person knowing him the encounter that comes it, it is from one level one dimension to the other but as far as your excelling in life is concerned you can hold the keys they are finite it is important that we understand that the spirit of revelation and not be replaced with an educated mind now i don't mean this to insult our knowledge or intellectual studies but you see when it has to do with spiritual things the character of god's communication is such that both the learned and the learned must equally depend on the spirit of revelation sometimes um, on the strength of the things that we have and we know and the obvious results they have produced his presence will require that you take off your shoes your experience and the symbol that you know him to be he told moses take off your shoes I am not one of the many gods in Egypt. I'm about to introduce myself in a new dimension. Lest you add me to the myriads of gods, take off your shoes. For where you stand is holy ground. Let me, I believe that the Lord is going to really, really help us and grant us understanding. Times and seasons. So it is true that God does not dwell in time. Please listen. But he designed man and limited man to function within the circumference of time are we together that means the greatest gift man really has second only to salvation is time and that if you understand times and seasons and you know how to align to the possibilities that come with times and seasons then you can walk in victory the bible is very clear about the fact that all things are not possible every time no you may plant during the dry season as we have in our region here you are not guaranteed to have a bumper harvest if you will have one at all is that true because there is an advantage that comes with the rainy season it saves you the rigor of looking for water the season was designed with that advantage in view so if you desire a bumper harvest your assignment is to continue to look at the weather and to find a time when your desire collides with the season that supplies an advantage is, is god speaking to us yes so with minimal effort you will plant during the rainy season and you will find out that your crops will grow because part of the possibilities and the advantage that comes with that season is rain you can outsource a system during the dry season to supply water but it will be at a cost that means that not all seasons carry the same possibilities please listen very carefully it is important we understand this that every time a season comes there is always what god is doing he's not always doing the same thing all the time he has his emphasis again we see in the bible gabriel appears to people to introduce seasons the archangel that introduces seasons are we together now he comes to daniel to introduce a new season he comes to mary the virgin to announce to her that she's about to be with child and that will usher another season times and seasons 
first chronicles chapter 12 and verse 32 the bible says and the children of issachar which were men that had understanding of the times to know what israel ought to do it says the heads of them were 200 and all their brethren were at their command what was their advantage they understood the times to know what israel ought to do so my assignment in this conference is that by the wisdom of the spirit to be able to guide us to know what times and that in a time like this what is the posture what is the response what is the advantage that this season comes with for the believer are we together greatness therefore in the kingdom comes by number one god margin seasons and opportunities together and then number two you finding favor by securing that opportunity i'm going to explain myself let me have somebody please okay Aaron, come hallelujah watch this let's assume this is spiritual timing and according to god's justice system okay stand here aaron please that this time is going to keep moving are you seeing it now and that a day will come it may take a long time but that a day is going to come when it will come to aaron and if aaron misses on that opportunity it will keep moving again are you getting what i'm saying that's why if god wants to help you in life he restores years not what you lost yes he tries to bring back the time so that the mistake you made you can remedy it he never said i will restore the goods because they are not necessary once there is time and those seasons is somebody understanding what i'm saying now the problem with the body of christ is that we all sit down being distracted at looking at the clock and waiting for the day it gets to our turn rather than getting busy to sharpen that ability so that the day the time comes you will enter the presence of greatness once and never come out again forever every man in the scripture that became great waited for that kairos moment joseph was in the prison but he knew there is an ability to interpret dreams it's only a matter of time the brother sold him he said no problem pharaoh's wife lied that he wanted to rape her no problem they threw him in the prison but when the season comes that part of the equation is god that starts moving that's favor with god are you seeing that now god made it in such a way that the white presser had to do something wrong to go to the prison so while he was in the prison the divine transaction started happening and the wine presser came out although the wine presser forgot about him but a day came let me tell you it does not take two days for you to enter greatness read the bible it always happened in one day there is always a day called one day he said john remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing there is, john was sharpening himself in the wilderness when the season came he came out and he completed his assignment one time jesus for 30 years was preparing for a season of three years 30 years read all the books knew all the law did everything and there was flawless victory within three and a half years so there are many of us sitting down looking at people's cars and say man i like this jeep goodness ah bmw this and that ford explorer 2014 limited edition look at that foolishness we are there claiming i claim it time and chance 
your turn is soon coming create an urgency sharpen the knife sharpen the anointing sharpen the healing anointing one day see let me tell you you may say there are many people the bible says in israel there were many widows but to none was the prophet sent god will send people specifically to you and when you take advantage of that season that is it you are open to a dimension of grace i have studied almost every great ministry i admire and i found out that in the history of that ministry something always happened something happened at the kairos season and the men plunged into it with revelation and boom never to return again Are you, are you getting what I'm sharing with you? Ah, I feel the anointing of the Spirit. If you sit down and you are wondering, Kai, this house, one day we are coming. When will this come? No, no, no. You never see me bother. You insult yourself when you do that. Many young people here, our dream is car, right? let me buy a car and you are trying to save how much can you save for the car you want i'm teaching you a higher law get out of all those 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 ways of frustration and misery that's why many people cannot give god glory they suffer for everything in their life come and adopt the kingdom's way there is a higher dimension there is a higher way believe me look let me tell you i'm a businessman i've read many business books so don't you think i'm just talking nonsense i know what i'm saying hallelujah when that kairos moment comes in your life when it comes in your ministry some people are snoring through the night the time will pass they wake up and an opportunity that took 10 years has just passed before it will come back again the first son is graduating from the university he has not learned his lesson after 25 years it comes again prophecy comes in the name of jesus let restoration happen and by the mercy of god the time is reversed it comes again the same lack of preparation keeps bringing people down are you seeing why it takes more than receive it to walk in this realm you would thank me in the future for what i'm teaching you i'm teaching you the way to a superior life so that you stop blaming your parents and say if my father only accepted this job stupid man would have been out of this thing uh -uh, leave your father alone god is bringing you to a point i don't care what degree you graduated with i don't care there is a problem listen if you solve a millionaire's problem you have access to his millions it's as simple as that never be a failure in this life never so every time i spend in prayer i'm sharpening my giftings for that day a day will come when that season comes god will send a great man who can sow a seed of 100 million naira to koinonia the person will be dying of tuberculosis or something it's like that that's how it works there is always something you can exchange for and god will make it in such a way that on the day he's coming somebody will be bringing koinonia messages that one is god's part of the equation while that is happening i'm praying in the secret place greater wisdom oh god you can sleep in the night and not know that that is the last time you will sleep in that realm hi if joseph knew if joseph knew all the people in the prison would have cleaned his shoe and said oh god it is within your bail me imagine the guy that bought joseph when he was shaving joseph little did he know he would have earned himself a position forever imagine those who were with the pre in the prison with obas and john the night he will come out if they had known that he would just come out never to return they would have said oh god sir, let's pray father bless this man so that at least he will remember them beware of people that you keep mocking and say you are not this you can't speak english very well you can't do this and that and that beware let me tell you you know why because if you are not if you don't take time 
please look at me let's just focus god is just doing his thing if if you are if you don't pay attention can i tell you the truth a day will come you will find out that the same person you saw today you looked at her said mary what is there you will open an office that you feel from for two weeks there are people today who are angry with me they are angry with me because there were times when we could access one another and at those times they could say a lot of things call me when they wanted but i was doing something they were not doing we were all laughing and choking and today because of the difficulty in reaching me they pick offense it's not my fault i refuse to remain at that level i intend to grow